Hi there. Now in this video, I just want to quickly summarize all the rules that we've discussed in previous videos on indices. So just as a reminder then, x to the power n as we say, x with a little subscript n here, means x multiplied repeatedly by itself n times. So for instance, if you had, let's say, x to the power 3 or x cubed, this means x multiplied by x multiplied by x. We multiply x repeatedly by itself three times over. If you had, let's say, if we had 2 cubed, for instance, 2 to the power 3, it's going to mean 2 then times 2 times 2. 2 repeatedly multiplied by itself three times over. 2 cubed then would be 2 times 2, which is 4, times 2, which would be 8. So that's very briefly what we mean by x to the power n. Another rule we discussed was this rule. When we have x to the power m multiplied by x to the power n, we ended up adding the powers. And the reason for that can easily be demonstrated here. If we had x squared, for instance, multiplied with x cubed, this would be the same as, well, for x squared, that would be x times x. I'll just drop the multiplication sign. And then we'll multiply that with x cubed. So that would be x times x times x. So if we look at x squared, which is this block here, and we look at x cubed, which was this block here, can you see that we're repeatedly multiplying x by itself a total of five times, the result of adding our powers here. So this is x to the power 5. We add the powers. If we had, for instance, 3 to the power 2, say, 3 squared multiplied by 3 to the power 3, 3 cubed, as we say, then this would be 3 repeatedly multiplied by itself 5 times over by just adding the powers. And if you do that sum, you should find you get 243. We also have this rule, x to the power m, all to the power n is equal to x to the power m times n. So if you had, for instance, 3 squared, all to the power 4, then this would be 3 to the power 2 times 4, which would be 8. It's essentially working off this rule here. We've got 3 squared being multiplied repeatedly then by itself 4 times over. So 3 squared times another 3 squared times another 3 squared times another 3 squared. And that would be a total of 3 to the power 8. There's this rule. When you've got x to the power m, times y to the power n, all to the power p. What we do is this rule to each of these powers. We get x to the power mp times y to the power np. So for instance, if we had this example, let's say 2x cubed times, say, y squared, all raised to the power 4, then what we've got here is 2 to the power 4. We've got x cubed to the power 4, which is going to be x to the power 3 times 4, which is x to the power 12. And then y squared to the power 4, that's going to be y to the power 2 4s, which are 8. I can simplify this further as well. 2 to the power 4, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 is 16. So you've got 16 x to the power 12, y to the power 8. Another rule is this one. When we have x to the power m divided by x to the power n, we subtract the powers, x to the power m minus n. And this is easy to see why it's so. Let's take, for instance, x to the power 5 divided by, say, x to the power 2, x squared 
x to the power 5, remember then, is x times x times x times x times x. And this will then be divided by x squared, which will be x times x. Now, I can cancel my values. I can cancel an x here with an x here. It goes into itself once. And I can repeat this here and here. So can you see, I've crossed off two x's on the bottom with two on the top, leaving me with three here. The result of five take away two. So I end up with x to the power five take away two, in other words, x cubed, x times x times x. Another one here is this one. x cubed divided by x to the power five. Working with this result, we'll get x to the power 3 take away 5, x to the power minus 2. What does that mean? Well, let's have a look. x cubed would be x times x times x, and we're dividing this by x to the power 5, so that's x times x times x times x times x. And again, just like up here, I can cancel out my x's. One there, one there, one there, one there. One there, and one there. But notice, this time, I've got the x's in the denominator. So what I end up with is 1 times 1 times 1 on the top, which is 1, divided by just x times x. In other words, x squared. But according to this rule, it would be x to the power 3 take away 5, x to the power minus 2. So we have two versions for this kind of thing. x to the power minus 2 means 1 over x squared. So that brings this rule, the negative power rule. x to the power minus n is 1 divided by x to the power n, as we've seen up here. If I had, for instance, 3 to the power minus 2, this would mean 1 divided by 3 to the power 2, or 1 divided by 3 squared. 3 squared is 9, so it's going to be 1 ninth. We can use this rule to demonstrate another important point. Anything to the power 0 is 1. x to the power 0 is 1. Why is that? Well, this is easily demonstrated if we had, say, x squared divided by x squared. We've got x times x divided by x times x. And by cancelling, you can see these cancel one another out. We've got the same thing on the top as we've got on the bottom. And we end up with 1 divided by 1, which is 1. And if we took away the powers, we'd have x to the power 0. So whenever you get x to the power 0, it's always 1. Now for this last rule, x to the power m divided by n is equal to the nth root of x all to the power m. So for instance, if we had, say, x to the power 2 thirds, this would be for the 3, the cube root, the third root of x, and then when we've got that answer, just raise it to the power 2. Square it, in other words. And if we took a numeric example, let's say we had 32 to the power 3 fifths. The 5 would tell us to take the fifth root of 32. And then when we found that, we can cube the result. Well, the fifth root of 32 is 2, because 2 to the power 5 gives us 32. So we've got 2 to the power 3, 2 cubed. 2 cubed, 2 times 2 times 2 is 8. So if I just border this off, hopefully then this has given you a brief summary of these rules for indices. And if you're stuck at any time on any of these rules, 
do go back and check my earlier videos in this series.